Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another video review, and this one's going to be for The Flash, episode episode 3, Things You Can't Outrun. Um, so yeah, before I begin the actual actual review for this episode, uh, for those that get to see it and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out, and then come back and watch the rest of this review, so I don't spo spoil anything. So yeah, 10 second spoiler warning, as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and have it already, don't complain down in the comments below or be, mess be messaging me that I never give you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. Um, so yeah, basically, as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. Um, in this episode, you have The Flash, and basically, he's going against this guy called, or enemy, or another metahuman, basically, called The Mist. Basically, his ability is that he can transform into poisonous gas and kill people at his own will. Um, so yeah, suppose in the episode they said that when the when the explosion happened, the the particle explosion happened, um, he was about he was in death row being gassed, and due to the particle accelerator explosion, he turned into a metal human that could transform into gas. Um, so basically, he's out killing the people who are responsible for his what would be death. He went after the judge, a witness. I assume it's a witness, um, or a few witnesses, um, or something like that, or his old gang who betrayed him, basically. So a few witnesses or so-called friends that stabbed him back. Um, the judge, and then he goes after Joe. Um, Joe who is Iris's dad due to the fact that he was the cop that arrested him. Um so yeah, also you do have some flashbacks from the time of the particle accelerator. Um coming from Cisco Cisco, Wells and I forget her Killer um what would be eventually Killer Frost, the Caitlin, Caitlin Snow. Um so yeah that was pretty cool to see some of the flashbacks. Because we tend not to, I mean, we see at least one or two flashbacks per episode. We, they don't really go in depth, but these really do, do go in depth as to, you know, the particle accelerator. And also basically shows the origins of Firestorm, um, who is Caitlin Snow's boy, fiance, um, Ronnie, Ronnie Ramon, if I'm correct, or Ronnie Rowan. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong on the last name, but it's Ronnie. Su Ronnie R, for all I remember, um, Ramon R Rowan. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Um, but R Ronnie something basically shows the origins of Firestorm, who is a character who is eventually is set to appear in the show eventually. So yeah, we got we got all those backstories. Um, and you know, you also had um, you also had you know, uh, what was I gonna say? You also have um, Iris. Who was who was who was trying to tell her father that her and her and his uh, police partner are dating, which it seems like he already knew that. So there's that, and then you know you have the mist going against the Flash, and apparently from what I've read and heard, the mist is actually the mist, or at least the character of the mist, um, is technically a character from another comic book. Um, so it, that is interesting that they are taking characters from other DC universe comic books and putting it in a, on show. Um, that is pretty interesting. So you do have that. Um, anything else to point out from the show? Um, also towards the end, they use the whatever's left of the particle accelerator malfunction explosion. Um, they use whatever's left of it to make a metal human pr prison. Um, starting off with the mist. Due to the fact that Weather Wizard, I guess, died in the first episode. Which I didn't think he died. I think he. I thought he just escaped. To be completely honest, I don't. I didn't think he died. I thought he escaped. Um, I know Multiplex from Episode Two died. That one was pretty obvious. And now we have um, the Mist. You know, captured. So yeah, to me, I, I thought it was like escaped, escaped, killed, captured. Um, so yeah. And next week we're supposed to be getting Captain Cold. Um, I don't. I. 
doubt they're gonna kill him because he is one of the bigger Flash villains from what I've heard. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, yeah but I'm still kind of confused because I'm pretty sure Weather Wizard survived or he's escaped. I may have to rewatch the first episode to make to see if he really did die, but I'm pretty sure he escaped or something. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he didn't die. Um, so yeah. Um, it was very good, you know, it is cheesy, it, it is a bit cheesy with the acting and the writing at times, and special effects, it is a bit cheesy, I do have to admit, um, but overall, it's a pretty good episode, um, you know, the dialogue for the most part is good, the acting is good, a bit cheesy at times for both of them, um, but go, good overall, um, yeah, you do have a b bit of foreshadowing, because you have, you know, things you can't, for example, the, the title, to start off with, Things you can't outrun, you know, you can't really outrun the past. Um, you know, there's things also Wells say, um, Dr. Wells says, you know, there's just things you have to live with, you know, such as pain and suffering and, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, there is a bit of foreshadowing within the episode. Overall, it's a pretty good episode. Any negatives about the episode? Um, not really. I mean, they're, um, yeah, not really. There's some funny parts in the episode, I have to admit that, but ne like major negatives, maybe one or two things over here and there, but not major negatives. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for this review. On a rate from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent. I'd have to say this is this episode is 8 out of 10, it's a good episode. And yeah, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. I am reviewing all the DC TV shows, which includes Gotham. Flash, Arrow, and Constantine, which is coming out this week. Um, and I also review Walking Dead, Scorpion, Grace Point, Z Nation. So definitely stay tuned for that. Besides that, you know, subscribe, comment down below on your thoughts on the episode, like the video, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.